It's the title fight. It's Jordan James Dorado versus Ali Arich, the Terminator. We saw this last time. We've seen it again tonight. It's the big one, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, good rematch. Uh, as you saw from the first round, it's a, a great fight. I think we're going to see pretty much the same. Ali Arish is going to come and do what he's made a career out of, really, is try and use his wrestling to dominate from a top position. Yeah. Jordan well, James in the uh, blue and black shorts with Ali Arish in the all black longer shorts. I'd, I'd like to see Jordan James this time. I'd like to see him not die for the, um, the arming guillotine. He did it a few times last yeah. time, and Ali's defense to that was just too good. Yeah, I mean, you got. I think you have to be playing a complete top game against Ali. Oh, he's clipped oh, him. Nice, he's clipped him. But I, don't, I feel like when he clips him, he needs to just not get into the grapple then with Ali Arish. Yeah, I mean, unless, you, unless you're in the top game, fighting someone like Ali, you need to be in top position. Yeah. And obviously, Jordan's a big, strong boy. If you've got him on top of you, that's the... That's the place to be beaten, Ali, is from top position. Don't jump oh, to it. We don't want to see him jump to that guillotine. That's for yeah, sure. Good. And he back. didn't do he it. Didn't, and he exactly. didn't do it. Good to see that he's yeah. learned a lesson there from, from May, I think it was. Leg kick. June, I believe, the 21 was, wasn't it? Was it? June, yeah, June the 9th, was it? Could have been. Could have been. It's good. I, I was working then, but, but you know the date. <laughs> I was meant to be fighting Jordan for the title ah, of that day. Of course, of so course. That's why it rings a bell. Seventh for a ninth or something. Yeah. Jordan looking really good here. I'm, I'm happy with this. Composed, landing a couple of shots. And he's I, keeping his range. Yeah, what I don't want to see Jordan do is try and box, box like a boxer because Ali is going to get the takedown. Yeah. Doing this and landing a couple of shots here and then being mobile. So sort of moving around and making sure he doesn't stay too still for the shoot. Yeah, like that shot there. He stopped great yeah. defense yeah, yeah. To, the, to the double leg there. That's a... Those are the sort of things. But then, this is Ali Arish. That's not going to put him off. He's going to think, okay, I've missed yeah. one. He's You've just going to keep going, yeah. 50 of them tonight, you know? Yeah. Um, but it, it certainly looks like since the last fight, Jordan's gone home and done the work yeah. on correcting the mistakes he made last time. Already, I can see that he's staying a little bit further yeah, away. It's just if that, if he, he got clipped then. got clipped big then, yeah. It's just if this can continue as the fight goes on and he gets tired, or yeah. will he revert back to a style that he's had his whole career? Absolutely. That's the hard thing, because once you fatigue sets in, you do just go back to what you know. I like this this fight from Jordan. Moving around the outside, just it, landing the shot. He's I a like lot more composed. I like this. It is, it, he's applying more of a thinker's game, a little bit more sort of um, technique and, and, and strategy. But Ali knows what he wants to do. And Ali's patient. He knows he can do it 100%. There's no doubt in his mind he can execute his game plan. He's just looking to take his time in doing so. I mean, both have really good notable, noticeable wins over veterans. Yeah. Um, and I've cornered one of my fighters for Ali back in the day, so I know exactly how Ali fights. I've cornered against Jordan before, yeah. so we know how he fights. Um, yeah, and both fighters know that they can execute their game plan. It'll just be composure, take your time. It's a five five minute round fight. And do you know what? It's, it's nice to see Ali doing a bit more boxing. He didn't manage to get off that low ankle pick there. This is a position where we want to see Jordan, Jordan popping up here. I'd like to see him close his full guard. I'd like to see him get the hips out, go knee on, go knee shield. I think Jordan uh, and go for the stand up. His, his eyebrows been split as well. I think there's a bit of blood, isn't there? On Jordan? Yeah. Do you know what? I, I don't think Ali's the kind of fighter, because he's such a grinder. I don't think he's the kind of guy that sees the blood and goes goes yeah. 20 times faster. No, definitely. All Ali, Ali's not going to be thinking about, oh, there's blood, I'm finishing the fight. Ali's just going to execute his game plan and keep executing his game plan. And if the finish comes, he'll take it. It's almost like he's just constantly moving. He's like trund like slowly trundling forward uh -huh. to the same place that he always goes. Exactly. He's a grinder and a grinder with a lot of experience as well. And do you know what, from a grappling perspective, mate, you know, it's going to be different in the cage, but from a grappling perspective, the grinding is so wearing on you. You're so tired after carrying it's, him for so long. I tell you how it, it affects someone like Jordan in the fact that you can't get this guy off you. So he's gone away and he's trained since his last fight to stop this happening. Yeah. And if he can't stop it happening, it's demoralizing, yeah. you know, thinking I trained so hard to stop this and I still can't stop it. And everything he had in his mind maybe before the fight, when it doesn't work, it might feel a bit like, what am I going to do now? Oh, uh, great effort for the sweep there from Jordan. Ali's so strong there. on top. Yeah. 
I'd like to see Jordan use that butterfly. If he was gonna, he had a butterfly hooked in there, and I'd like to see him use it. I think if he could. It's close guard again now. He needs to stop Ali's posture a little bit. I, th I don't yeah. feel like he's controlling his upper body enough. That Valetudo guard that he's going for with the overhook. Yeah. Um, if he can get the wrist control and really sink that in nice and tight, then yeah, but you've got a guy like Ali Ar Arish who his whole career people have tried to use that against him. And he's so, seen it all before. Yeah, exactly. Every way, every way you can move from that position, Ali Arish has seen, and he's seen the counter too. Yeah, and... To be fair, guys, that first round exactly as I expected to see. Um, I'm glad nobody overcommitted. I'd say Ali was dominant in the first round. Yeah. So Ren's got yeah. to the wrestling, but I'm really impressed with how Jordan approached that round. If he's got the cardio to do that over five rounds and he can stop more of those takedowns, then we could be in for a really good fight. Yeah, I completely agree. I think it's nice to see Jordan adopting a slightly different game plan, but ultimately Ali has, has slightly outdone him in this round. Yeah, I mean the, the thing is, he did well against defending that double leg, but that low ankle, that low ankle, yeah. it's a it's a tough one when you've got someone who executes it so fast as Ali. We'll yeah. see how this round goes now. I, Ali got clipped as well, so I, I guess there is that. Going into round two now. Do I dare? Well, I guess we just spoke about it, didn't we? Who won the first one? I think when you get someone who takes someone down like Ali did there and is dominant from the top position as well, you'd have to give that round to Ali, I'd say. So I don't think Jordan should let Ali settle too much in the centre. Yeah, I think he's okay walking around in circles on the outside, but you need to be threatening him with something to keep Ali off his game. I mean, look, all he's doing is timing and setting something up. Looking at Ali and in the second, in the other fight as well, um, he's got patience for days. I think you could, he will sit there and do his game plan till till the end of his career, and nothing you do is going to change that. I think he just does that. I mean, he's trained for five five minute rounds because that's how he fights, yeah. grinding out the decision. So. He's trained for five five-minute rounds. At no point is he in a rush to finish this fight. And I feel like um, uh, the Rhino's sort of mentality is more, I'm not going to go five rounds. I am going to finish this fight. So I feel like he potentially Ali is trained for the long haul and Jordan's looking more for that explosive finish. Well, the longer the fight goes on, you have to say it goes towards Ali's yeah, favour. So That's twice he stopped to take down this round. And do you know what? The sprawls look good. He's not getting off of this still one. still in. He grabbed the cage a bit there. Yeah, he's not getting off of Ali that one, didn't definitely. Care. Ali didn't care about the cage grab. Right. Big double leg. But now this is where we see Ali sort of slow down a bit. And, and I, I feel like he could do a little bit more to push the fight. I mean, again, it's frustrating when you see someone with such a dominant yeah. top game not looking to finish yeah. the fight. But, you know, it, at the end of the night, your win column says a W or your loss column says an L and he's trying to protect that W column yeah. so criticism from a from a viewing perspective is that I think he can finish these guys yeah. if you're this dominant from top position go out there and work for Absolutely. it but at the same time you, winning the fights what matters you know yeah and a lot of very competitive people are also like very willing to do that and uh, to just win uh, whatever winning means they're not looking to knock you out or have that spectacular finish the ref stood him up there um, I think Ali can complain a lot but it comes down to people knowing his style and they know he'll lay there and do that all night you know a little eye poke there. Yeah, it was accidental. Definitely. It looks like Rhino's a bit frustrated by it. Ali's corner are calling for a shot, and I think Ali is just waiting a little bit. We spoke about it in the amateur fights. How important are corners in these fights, and yeah. like what they tell the fighters? Well, someone like Ali, his his corner are not going to be very important towards his game plan definitely but what will be important will be in between ranks so they'll see things that Ali maybe doesn't because he's so blinded yeah. by his game plan so in between ranks they can really help him pick up on stuff and also if he gets a couple of those shots he gets the sprawled on and he gets he gets them shut down for morale they're going to be good to have in his corner yeah when it comes to executing your game plan he does his game plan so well yeah that 
he doesn't need his corner there for that. Yeah, and he's so experienced that, you know, uh, a lot of people wouldn't have enough experience even training them in mixed martial arts, let alone competing as long as he's competed. Exactly. And on the other side, obviously, Jordan's corner, very vocal, especially when he's on the floor. Will he rely on them to tell him what he can't see? Yeah, and I think sometimes if he gets frustrated and, for example, tries to punch from bottom, they need to tell him, you know, that's not effective. He needs to concentrate on getting back to his feet. It's going to be a morale perspective from Jordan's corner. There, there's, nobody in, there's nobody in Jordan's corner who can do a better job against Ali than Jordan. Yeah. So it's going to be more keeping Jordan's head up. Um, keeping him in the fight, telling him to stop going for that guillotine. That's what I want him to say. When he's getting the single, go to the whizzer, yeah. get the knee yeah. on the outside and defend the takedown, stuff the head and come around the corner. And win and the positional exactly, game. Exactly, stuff those takedowns, concentrate yeah. on that. Don't substitute for a guillotine that we all know you're not going to get. Exactly, you tried a number of times against Ali and he's tough. I, you know, finishing Ali with something like that is going to be difficult. Definitely, and especially from a single leg. Yeah. He's not, you're not going to get... He's not going to give you a single leg, then he's going to fall into a guillotine position. Yeah, and constantly Ali falls the right way. He knows what he's doing. So, I like how Jordan James has sort of up the, up the, up the ground game a little. He's closed his guard. He's controlling the top half of Ali's body. Trying to get it stood up. He's trying uh, to get the fight stood uh, up. Yeah, and I, I think after the last stand-up, he's sort of thinking, ah, the refs, the refs into standing us up, so he's just going to keep playing that game. Yeah, and the more he can stand up and get Ali working as well, he's not doing much. So yeah, again, I'd say pretty much a, a mirrored copy of the first round. Ali utilized like executing his game plan perfectly again. Um, got a little bit frustrated when it got stood up, but you know he's got the ability to take him back down and do it again. And I think that's what we're going to keep seeing. Do, do you know what? I was surprised that we saw um, Ali frustrated. To be honest, I, I haven't seen that out of him before. Yeah, he's not an emotive fighter. No. Um, he sticks to his game plan and he does what he does. And he's, yeah. very, he's called the Terminator because he he's not emotive and he's not emotional. And he just keeps doing what he does and he does it over and over again. So to see him um, frustrated like that is different. But at the same time, I think another round in his bag, in his belt now. He'll go back and do the same again this round. He's got so many years of fighting that way that I guess he just reverts back to that. Exactly. And do you think Jordan's taken a bit of confidence? It's hard to tell. I mean, Jordan's got to be thinking like he's in the same position as he was last time, definitely. But he would have trained for that. I think, I think his corner are coming in now. Coming into play now as corner team. And they'll be picking his morale up, telling him, you know, you've still got this. You've just got to avoid one takedown, land a good shot. Yeah, and he's not a man who lacks confidence either, is he? So... No, he's a big, strong boy as well. He's only one shot away from putting him away. There's quite a lot of talking going on in the cage. I think I think they need to just get get to the get to the fight at hand, really. Possibly, but this is I think that's a good game plan from Jordan. Do you think he's you, trying to get in Ali's head? Draw him in to make stupid decisions, maybe. I think I okay. don't think that's a bad game plan at all. He's fighting a different style. He's staying on the outside, which means Ali's got to overcommit yeah, to stuff. Yeah, I see what you mean. So if he's drawing him out and verbally enticing him to do that as well, I don't think that's so much of a bad game plan. And like we mentioned earlier, we've not we've not seen Ali Arish out of his normal. He sort of looked a bit frustrated. Oh, strong whizzer. Jordan going for the takedown now. He needs to come. He needs to repenetrate to get that double leg. I'd pick the single and run the pipe there. Yeah. I don't think the double's going to work for pick him with uh, Ali side on. I think something we spoke about in the last fight was Ali peppering always whatever's happening he's always punching yeah and they just take their toll don't they yeah absolutely um i feel like ali arish is um his striking is to just keep striking it's not a particular um strategy to attack here to then attack there or to finish the fight it's just to keep putting the damage on yeah he's very much a grinder in all aspects of yeah. how he fights he fights with a grinding wrestling style and fights with a grinding punching style oh and jordan's got his back Gone for that trip, he's got no hooks, and this is a bad position to be in now. Ali is so strong from that top position. I mean, you can't knock Jordan for going for things like that because 
he could pull off the, the yeah. victory, the snap victory like that. He could just get it, but at the same time, if it doesn't work out like this hasn't, you find yourself here. Yeah, yeah. And, and also, you have to put Ali Arish out. I don't, I don't think there's going to be any you know, panic taps. There's not going to be any, any position that Ali's not familiar with. A rear naked choke with no hooks in is not really going to be the no, ideal way not to for finish, Ali. finish Arish. We said it earlier, position before submission. Exactly. Again, Jordan not really making an attempt to do anything. That was an illegal knee again. there. Illegal Did it hit knee. the head? Yeah. As always, though, no de no change to Ali. Don't even care. Not the best position for us from the commentary team here. <laughs> we've um, got a pillar. Yeah, we've got a pillar right in front of us, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory in that yeah. Ali's just dominating from the top and Jordan's trying to kill the game and maybe get a stand-up. It's going to be One hard to, really to, to stifle Ali's attack from north-south. It's inside control, but Ali's north-south control is so strong. Jordan really needs to try and turn him to him one way or another to regain some sort of guard. I think Jordan needs to try and commit to standing up. Yeah. Instead of just trying to kill the game, he needs to start working to fight out of this position, you know. Of course, easier said than done. I haven't got Ali Arish led on top of me. Yeah. And it, very nice. That was great work from Jordan. That's what I want to see. That well, he timed that really well as well, to be fair. See, this is what I don't want to see. Oh, no. Oh, this tight. is quite tight. He's not going to get that. He needs to get on the hip. He needs to be on his left hip to secure that. And he nice needs to stand up. Yeah. Maybe once you know you're not going to get it, commit to standing up from there. But and, uh, and so every time it seems to, to, I know it's in the last fight. Every time he seems to lose it, it disheartens him a little bit. And I, of I think course, it's so hard to think you had something and then Ali nullifies it again. I mean, it's not even. He probably knew he didn't have it, but it's the want to have it. Yeah. He'd have been willing himself to, yeah. to get that guillotine so much. It's disheartening when he doesn't. And now, now Jordan's in full guard, so he has a chance to um, to close the guards, control the posture, and get a stand up if he wanted. That's a nasty mouse appearing over that left eye now. And Ali's just in his face. Uh, there is no break with Ali Arish. What's, what's going through Jordan's head now in this position? I would hope, I would hope, get back to the game plan, get back to my feet. Let's work out of this, grind ourselves out of this position. It's just, it's just time. All I'm losing here is time. I'm not losing the fight, I'm just losing time. That's what I would hope. However, you've got someone like Ali Arish on top of you and everything you're trying is not working. You know, it, it's hard for him to stay motivated. That, that, his left eye now is starting to look worse and worse and that's going to progress as the next two rounds go as well. I think possibly they'll bring a doctor in to have a look at that left eye. So Ali's looking quite relaxed. He looks like a guy who's in between sets at the gym. Just just waiting for maybe his mach next machine to become free. Yeah, this is the sort of stuff that Ali doesn't even have to train for. He can just get himself fit enough for five, five minute rounds and he could turn up and fight, you know? Yeah. I can see a little bit of emotion on his face at the moment. Um, maybe a bit of frustration? Maybe, maybe in the fact that Jordan's tough. So, Frustration that Jordan's taking everything and he's not giving in and he's still in the fight and he's still trying. It's it's hard, you know, when you've got such a grueling grinding style and you, against somebody who's not given in to that. Yeah, and do you think maybe Ali expected Jordan to be the same Jordan and he has been slightly different, so maybe that's affecting Ali a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably right. I think though Ali Ali probably doesn't look any further than Ali's game plan. Um he knows he can execute his game plan against everyone because he has done for so long yeah. over so he knows he could probably execute it. I think he's got past that first round when Jordan was frustrating. He's got the takedown in every single round now. So I think he, it's just once he's got that takedown, not being able to do as much damage yeah, as he would like. Yeah, I see what you mean. So we're getting into the next round now. Yeah. Going into the fourth with three down. Who's won it for you so far, Wes? I think you've got to give it to Ali Arish. Ali? Uh, yeah, Ali, because he's executing his game plan perfectly. As much as, as much as Ali has got it, though, Jordan can still finish this fight. He has yeah, oh, the, got definitely. the power to finish the fight. And he's 
He's mixing things up. He's stuffed a couple of takedowns. Yeah. He's never more than one shot away. Yeah. And we've seen it. There have, there have been fights of his that he has landed just one shot, and that's it. And actually, in the last fight, he did cl clip Ali a few times and just didn't capitalize on it. I'd like to actually see Jordan in top position. Yeah. Laying some work down. Uh, I, I don't think Ali has a very good bottom uh, bottom game for jiu-jitsu. No, I'd like to see how his stand-up is from being on his back with someone like Jordan on top of him. Uh, I mean, Jordan is going to be really strong in the top position, and all that power he has on his feet also works when he's in the top position to a point as well. Definitely. He's a very compact fighter, yeah. and he's going to know how to use all of his body weight um, from the top position and land shots. You know, yeah, so. and he's got a lot of confidence in it. Yeah, as well he should do yeah. from seeing his fights. Ali has no emotion on his face whatsoever. Nope. Just, just business. Waiting, just he's waiting for an opportunity. And he will wait. He'll wait the round, won't he? Yeah. Definitely. And he's ahead, so he doesn't yeah, have to. Exactly. I mean, if you're not getting caught and you're not getting outboxed and you're not getting attempts on takedowns on you, why not wait to four minutes 30 and then win the last yeah. 30 seconds of the round? Um, it's a sport at the end of the day. And, and lovely that's uppercut from Ali. Oh. Ali landed a nice short uppercut. Oh, and a big there. shoot there. on a single. Single. You need to go to the overhook, the whizzer. Jordan needs to start working that whizzer on those yeah. single legs, you know, to I, bend that takedown instead of just going for that, that guillotine, as we know, is not going to work. And I think he's aiming for posture rather than that whizzer, like you say, and, and that should be his primary primary thing, is to get that whizzer and turn his body. Yeah, exactly. And do you know what? These body shots from the ground from Ali, they sound really deep. Heavy, yeah, and heavy, yeah they do. <laughs> they sound a really deep thud. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And the the Ali Arish unorthodox strikes. Last time he was doing hip strikes. I've never even seen a hip strike before. Yeah. Let alone know if it's legal. <laughs> this position from Jordan is um, is not attempting anything. It's just a, a hold on position, yeah. which is you know, it's not very good from a viewer's perspective but at the same time it's tough in there for and him the, and the strikes from the bottom as well I, I think for me that wastes energy and, and it doesn't give you an opportunity to grapple which is what he needs to do to get to his feet this is what he's missing here is a really explosive grappling game from Absolutely, the bottom yeah. um, this trying to kill the position hasn't worked for the rest of the fight so we needed to see something a bit more um, unorthodox from him and yeah. trying to get back to his feet. And also there's an aspect of, um, rather than going for the, the guillotine, he could be falling to try and then get up straight away. So falling into a position that means he can get up. Yeah, because I feel like he's giving the takedown away whilst yeah. he's going for that guillotine that he knows he's not going to get. And I think Ali Arish will happily let him do that all, ma all match. Happily. Of I'd be interested to hear the last time Ali Arish ever got guillotined. That would be very interesting for me. Because I train with, uh, obviously, Paul Reed. Paul Reed's yep. known for his guillotine. Yep. Very good guillotine. And I'm quite well known for my wrestling. So my guillotine defense became really good. Could you yeah, yeah. So it'd be interesting to know if you're trying to guillotine someone who has not been guillotined for 12 years, you know? Like, I can't imagine Ali Arish being guillotined very often because it's such a massive part of his game plan to yeah. get the, the takedown. And I imagine a large portion of his training is the takedown and the, the guillotine is a, a part and parcel factor in that. So Jordan made a bit of really space nice and get up. This is what we want to see. Oh. So Ali goes straight in, straight for that takedown. big double leg. Yeah. Ali literally doesn't give him any space to do no, it. And the thing is, from, from Jordan's perspective, there he spent a minute and a half on his back just for that one take, and he gets it, and within yeah. a second, he's back on his back. Yeah. Demoralizing. And wearing. Um, the hardest part of, of MMA is the wrestling, and every time he gets up from the takedown, it's costing him energy. Energy needs to beat Ali Arish. So we're coming up to the end of the fourth round now. Um, looks like very similar to last time. I feel like I just, I'm going to need to call it as 4 0 Ali Arish at the moment. I'd, I'd have to agree just because it's. Uh... And I feel like although they're not 10 8 rounds, they're definitely 10 9s. 
definitely. There's no, there's absolutely no doubt. Especially, it seems to me like Jordan's built, falling further and further Is away from his game plan. That unorthodox movement, looking for those strikes, didn't even seem to be there that round. So it's interesting to see if this being the last round, if he comes out back to that game plan, looking to land those unorthodox strikes, or whether he wilts a little bit further and Ali can implement his game plan even further. I think Ali's not going to be looking for a finish now. He's happy. And why no, would he? Exactly. So I would like to see a Jordan James come out and just throws everything to the wall. And, and if he gets double leg because he got a punch And that's all he's up. got really, isn't it? That's all he can do now. Yeah. Exactly, because if you're, he's been trying to avoid this happening for four rounds and it's happened. Yeah. So let's forget about avoiding it and let's just throw something out yeah. there now. At the end of the day, it might end up in the same position he's been in, but... That is that is fight sports, but you know. A credit to him, Jordan doesn't seem to be breathing particularly heavily. He's well conditioned for this he is. fight. Yeah, I'm really impressed with his conditioning, and I'm also quite impressed that although he has he hasn't looked anywhere near as frustrated as last time. By the no. fifth round last time, you could see he was pretty much he'd given everything he could have. Yeah. yeah, when you come into a fight expecting this, and then you get it, perhaps it's not so frustrating. Yeah. And I imagine if, if uh, you know, it, it, I think, a kick was that a foot or a knee? Do you feel like that was a foot? I think, I thought he caught his foot there. That might be the he end of the... He shook it off. Like he shook it off. He's a tough guy. I don't, I don't know if um, a foot injury is going to cause him too much problem. Uh, Another thing to mention, Wes, obviously, his, his left eye has closed a lot. He probably only has at least a round left in it until it's fully closed yeah. from the, the blood and the bruising. Yeah. Yeah. But luckily, a rain's all he's got. So I think I think his foot is giving him some trouble now. He's just limped again. I, I, I can't see him throwing any right leg kicks, uh, right kicks anymore. And if Ali's Ali's um, noticed, I imagine Ali's going to try and do a few stomps in the clinch. Oh, definitely, Ali's known for his stomps in the clinch anyway. And when um, they when he stomps, it sounds quite quite brutal. Yeah, it's, if it's a big part of your game, you get good at it, I guess. Yeah. And I imagine any time someone said this is a grinding move, Ali's, you know, Ali's eyes lit up and he thought, right then, coach, teach me all the grinding moves. Jordan's still trying to stay away, though, and, and I'd like to see him maybe, maybe like, like that. Right. Yeah, I'd like That's to see him do see. that. And then don't rush for another one. But so you can see now Ali wants to take the fight down. Exactly. Now. So take that big swing and then expect Ali to take him yeah. down, defend the takedown, and then he's back to square one and he can, he can have a crack at his big swing again. Yeah side control they have a lot more movement in their hips yeah so being inside in half guard here is and i remember from from back in the day randy couture that was the thing he always said exactly. that he didn't like side control and would go back to half put yourself guard. back in half guard yeah um so ali's ali's still saying there he isn't going to side control as you say it's probably just to keep that anchor point yeah. but again it doesn't really give him much opportunity to finish the fight Less opportunity than side control or, or another position, maybe. But submission wise, submission wise, yes. From grind and pain point of view, I think it's a better. And also, the risk of him getting swept is much, much lower. Exactly. So he, he maybe isn't as dangerous to his opponent, but he's Most also the elbows there from Ali from that position as well. Uh, it's so it's so savage that that yeah. body punch from the really grinder. Is. Listening to it this close, and we are literally like three really feet is. away. That body shot. They might be able to see us on the stream how close <laughs> we are. <laughs> that bright white light on the side, that's yeah. it. <laughs> but the crowd are behind Jordan James, you know, he's trying to, to get back to his feet, but it's just maybe a little bit too late and Ali's yeah. grind. They're both slippery now as well, which yeah. makes it even harder for him to control Ali. And know? do you know what? I feel like, in a way, you'd think that gives Jordan as much opportunity, but it doesn't because Ali's weight is on him. Yeah, exactly. And you really to stand up from that position, you really need to get a good underhook, yeah. good overhook position, which is made so much harder when you're just so slippery. And he's not, he's not able to get leverage with his legs, to use his legs to make the space. Wow, that's the end, and it went, to be fair, if you were going to put money on how it went, that would be, your, your bet would yeah. maybe go there, you yeah. know? And do you know what? I think Jordan James, respect to Jordan James for changing his game plan, because yeah. he's tried to, like, change what he work, did. Making it work each round for a little bit. It's just so hard to, to implement a new game plan against someone who's got such a well-adapted game yeah. plan that he yeah. utilised for the last X amount of yeah. years. So he's got all the steps in that game plan, where Jordan's just like, oh, I'll learn this bit just to save myself from this aspect of it. 
But uh, fair play, Jordan James did slightly better than last time. Quite yep. impressed with his change in his game plan. Ali Arish is just too much. I mean, who's going to get this belt off Ali Arish? Wes. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I mean, we've got Ali Arish as the belt holder. Jordan wanted it back. He said on his uh, on his questionnaire, we make him fill in that he wanted that belt back. It's his belt. Yeah. It's fallen short maybe again. I, I can't see the decision go into him. No. Where I does he know. go from here? He's going to have to literally pry Ali Arish's hands off that belt now, probably. We're not going to see a trilogy, are we, here, Wes? Surely not. What? Why would you? Um, if there's a rubber match or something, maybe, but I think a trilogy doesn't produce anything different, personally. Yeah. It would take Jordan James a considerable amount of time um, to, to learn the skills necessary. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the difference... Oh. And there you go. Still the champion, Ali Arish. There it is. Exactly, we did know that. There it is. And, yeah. and Ali Arish has done a really good job there, I think. He's come in, everyone knows what he's going to do, but... Get, actually getting it done is another thing. I mean, yeah. you know, everybody knows what he's going to do and they've been coming up with game plans. Yeah. It, didn't, it didn't work for them for Jordan today. No. no. Um, I think this is a great moment for us to fight. thank everyone involved. Buddha Wales, the LC2, all the fighters tonight have been exceptional. Yeah. Great professionals. Yeah, I agree. I think it's been a, a great display of not only Welsh MMA, but UK MMA. Definitely. The show looks fantastic. Um, everyone here has been fantastic. All the crew, all the medical team, referees. It's been a great display. I thank both of you for joining us today. Reese Bell, thanks again. Obviously, the newcomer, Wes, thank you. Thank you. I know you've got stuff going on. How can people search the podcast to hear more of your voice? Um, so, yeah, I've got the podcast, 831 Podcast, available on all major formats, etc. So, go to the 831 Podcast, search that. Hit me up on Facebook, WhatsApp, uh, Twitter, etc. I'm available on all That's them. great. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon.